Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon, hello, guys. Hello. Another beautiful day in Bariloche. Indeed. So yeah. today we are finally leaving our cozy little chalet in the woods to go on an excursion. We're going yes. on a trip. Do you know where we're going? We are going island hopping. Yes. So we're going to visit... Nahuel Huapi? Nahuel Huapi is Nahuel the Huapi. name of the lake and the yeah. provincial park, but we are going to visit Isla Victoria. Yes. Victoria Island. Victoria Island. And that's what, that's what most people mistakenly call the island I'm from. Vancouver Island. Yeah, instead of Vancouver Island, they call it Victoria Island because that's the capital capital of the island. Yeah. So. And then, aside from that, we're going to be visiting a very famous forest that we've already been to on a previous yes. trip. It is called Bosque de Arrayanes. Yeah, it's the Arrayanes Forest. Yes. And it's beautiful. We visited there when we were at Villa Langostura. Yeah, you can and we do walked that. Trip. We walked that whole, that whole forest. We sure did. Today yeah. it's going to be a brief first stop since we've already yes. been there. But yeah, it's a beautiful day to be out on the water, cruising. Yeah. And in terms of how we got here, we hopped on the public bus again. Yeah. Number 20. Number 20. That's an awesome system. It comes like what every, I think it comes every 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. We hopped on the number 20 and a nice scenic journey. And guys, if you want to know how to get to this port, you'll see the beautiful Zhao Zhao Hotel on the mm -hmm. left just mm -hmm. before you arrive here. Yeah, the and port's like directly across and it is yeah. called Puerto Pañuelo. Yeah. So, yeah. And so we're just going to check out the port area. We have about 45 minutes until we leave. Mm -hmm. And I uh, can't wait to do this today. So this excursion was super easy to organize and we actually booked everything online. We decided to go with a tour operator called Kau Kau. They have morning and afternoon departures, but the morning excursion is a bit longer and gives you more time on Victoria Island, so that might be a good option if you want to do a bit of hiking and turn this into a full day outing. Also, fun fact, Nahuel Huapi National Park is the oldest national park in all of Argentina, so that's another reason to visit. We have made it to Isla Victoria, our first stop of the day on this little boat cruise adventure. And it's been kind of hectic, you know, getting on the boat, cruising. It was just like 20 minutes on the boat and boom, we're there. So we didn't have a chance to tell you the prices. So now we're just taking a quiet moment to sit down and let's do some math for anyone planning to visit. You're going to love this. Okay, first up, the trip. You can do the basic package where it's basically just transportation to the island and, you know, hiking with a guide. Or if you're a foodie and you're constantly hungry like we are, you can pay to have catering and you get three meals yeah. <laughs> every time you're and sailing. You, all, you also get an exclusive seating area too. Yeah, you're on the upper deck. Yeah. So that's pretty nice. It's only like 12 bucks more. Or something that's like that. what we went for. Yeah, so I had a glass of wine. You yeah. had you had wine, red had wine, wine, white wine, beer, three empanadas each. Yeah, and then yeah. there's gonna be sandwiches, and yeah. there's going to be merienda with like pastries and alfajores. So oh, yeah, man, it, it's totally worth it if 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 your budget allows for it. Yes. So that was forty six dollars per person mm -hmm. for the excursion with the guide plus three meals. That's what we paid. If you don't want to pay for the meals, then it's a lot cheaper. I think it's more around the $30 mark, right? Yeah. And then, aside from that, 
you have to pay your admission into the national park. This is Parque Nacional Nahuel Huapi. And that was, let's do some more math. If you're Argentine or if you have a DNI, it is $3. And if you're a foreigner, Mr. Uh -huh. Gringo, Gringy. it is almost $7. Gringo family back here. So yeah. And aside from that, you also have to pay an embarkation fee, yeah. like a boarding fee for getting on the boat. And that was... That's a national $1. park 50. fee, right? No, no, no. Oh, it's different. There's three different fees, guys. Oh, wow. So that I didn't was know about the third one. for, you know, getting on the boat and being on a boat on the lake. So those three things, that's what we've paid so far. Yeah, once you arrive on the island here on Isla Victoria, they have different guides. So you can do a difficult hike that has a bit of a higher incline, or you can do an easy hike. And then there's another guide for anyone who speaks English. Yeah. We just kind of ran away. It's like, we're, okay, we're yeah. meeting at four. We're doing yeah. our own thing. We're just going to be aware of the time. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's actually nice because th there's a lot of people, but they disperse quickly. Yes. And now it feels like we have the island to ourselves. I no, like when we first got off the boat, there were like hundreds of people everywhere. Yeah. And it's like, oh, and now this isn't they, how I they, enjoy they're, nature. they're all doing their own thing. Everyone's and doing their own we thing. Have, it feels like we have this part of the park to ourselves. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And we have about an hour and 20 minutes here. So we'll do a little hiking, enjoy the scenery. Yeah. And yeah, it's good. Then we hop back on the boat and back we boat. gobble some more food. More food. Once we disembarked in Puerto Anchorena, it was time to explore the island. The beach is a lovely place to linger if you happen to visit on a warm and sunny day. Plus, there are also hiking trails with cool lookout points along the way. Let's get started. a bit too late but even though this destination is advertised as a day trip there's actually a lodge on the island where you can spend the night the place is called Osteria Isla Victoria and it's a pretty luxurious place offering kayaking mountain biking guided hikes gourmet meals and unbeatable views if we get the chance to go back we definitely want to stay there We followed the signs towards the beach and the, the rock paintings, those cave paintings. We did. And then we started climbing. We saw a trail. We saw a trail. So basically you walk by and then you'll notice a beach to your right uh -huh. and to your left you have stairs going up and that's yeah. 150 meter ascent. Mm -hmm. So right now we're almost at the at the peak lookout point. The views are spectacular from here. We seem to have lost the crowds, which is wonderful. Ooh. Oh, it's just so... it's. Postcard picture beautiful here guys. Yes. There's no other way to describe it. Agreed. It's just amazing. The the snow capped mountains in the background. Yeah. The turquoise waters, the forests, the yellow the yellow blossoming flowers. Oh I mean, yeah, all the shrubs and bushes are in bloom man, this time of year. So beautiful here. And um, we still have 45 minutes, so we're just gonna kinda take it in, grab some views from up here, and then start making our way back to the boat. We then got back on the boat and continue the journey to the famous Arradanes Forest. Hello! Hello! Time for an update! Yes! 
We've uh, we've been enjoying uh, the company we've uh, found on the on, on the ferry ride uh -huh. on the boat ride. We've met um, a couple that lives in in the U.S. but they're from Korea, so we've been talking about our travels in Korea and other places. Sam got to practice the the little Korean yeah. he remembers. Yeah, and then after we also so many years away. We also met a guide that lives close to where you grew up. Oh in, yeah, in uh, in Argentina. Yes. in the Sierras of Cordoba. So there's been a lot to talk about. Uh, we didn't film a whole lot. Yeah, getting basically here. we've been social and put the camera down yeah. for once. <laughs> but now we've arrived in the place that we visited like what, in half a course. year ago. Exactly, we are back in Bosque de Arrellanes. Yes, so it's the, the, the forest of the Arrellanes, yes. the famous tree out here. And yeah, it's so nice to be back. This was one of our favorite hikes mm -hmm. earlier in the year. So we'll show you a bit what's going on. Los Arradanes National Park was created in 1971 with the sole purpose of protecting the forest of the rare Arradan trees. The trees in this forest are believed to be around 300 years old, though there are some specimens upwards of 400 years of age. The Arradan is known for its cinnamon-colored bark and they are surprisingly cool to the touch. This is because their bark is so thin that you can feel the sap inside the tree, which is pretty cool. <laughs> we found a little quiet section of the forest all to ourselves. We went the opposite way. The opposite way. We walked clockwise. Yeah. Everyone else is going counterclockwise, so we have to like pass them. But then once we got here, oh, I feel like I probably sound very antisocial. Like, I don't want to see people. Rah. But I just feel like I enjoy nature so much better when, the, when it's, yeah. there's less people, yeah. no crowds. The thing is, um, the, the nice thing if you go from Visa Langostura mm -hmm. is that you get dropped off and you can walk this beautiful. Um, this beautiful island or this yeah. beautiful park at your own pace at your own pace at leisure yeah, own, yeah it's interesting doing this tour for the second time because like you mentioned when we did it from Villa Langostura I think it was also the end of the tourist season so it was just a lot quieter a smaller group and then we walked back on our own so we yeah. could really you know stop to enjoy the forest so on this tour we only have 30 minutes here to walk around the loop and there's the option of following the guide and he'll give you information tell you about the trees and the forest and things like that or you can walk it on your own but still it's it's a quick visit it's like a little pit stop basically so I would say if you really want to enjoy this place come on your own come on your own yeah. and come to <laughs> Vigia Langostura where you do, can yeah, do exactly. it on a day trip do and you can from... walk back into town basically a full day activity yeah yeah finished our excursion of Nawil Wapi National Park and arrived back at the port, we saw the beautiful Zhao Zhao Hotel at the top of the hill. It was just a little too irresistible, so we decided to treat ourselves to a nice dinner. Now, I would recommend making a reservation in advance if you can because the front desk didn't seem so keen on walk-ins, but we did manage to get a table at their cafe Patagonia. We also got to go down to their cellar to select a bottle of wine and we then ordered fondue for two. Alrighty, so we are having the Malbec wine, the national wine of Argentina, and it's from a bodega we know really well, Bodega Norton. Mm -hmm. 
we've had their wines in Canada, we've had them in Argentina many times. Mm -hmm. This is a special limited edition. This is bottle 380. The other thing too, holding this in the hand, this wine bottle is like twice or three times as heavy. It's like mm -hmm. a, a special bottle. Like, skookum, heavy. Skookum? <laughs> skookum. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really high quality bottle. And I love the, uh, you can see it says Zhao Zhao on the front. And the wine is velvety. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. I would say exquisite. Exquisite. It's uh, extremely good. <laughs> it's going to go great with our, uh, with our fondue. The fondue has arrived. The fondue is here indeed. It is a giant clay pot full of melted cheese. Three different types of cheese. To go along with it, we've got some plums, mm -hmm. dried plums, toasted bread, there's cooked ham, little sausages, seasoned bread, and noisette potatoes. Show how much cheese you can get. Look at that, guys. You can get lots of cheese, my friends. It just keeps going. Oh, one more time for cheese. one more time for the camera. For effect. One more time for effect. All right, guys. There's just so many different things to try in this cheese. I'm gonna to try to give you an opinion of what's the best. So we're starting off with ham, basically. Mm -hmm. Cooked ham. If you're not smothering it, you're not doing it justice. Look at that. Sam's already lost a few pieces in the cheese. That's I why. Have. I... Would you like a little ham with your cheese? <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect combination. Ham and cheese mm -hmm. go together so well. And even more so, cheese and wine. Wine and cheese, cheese and wine. They oh, yeah. go hand in hand. Hand in hand. I've never tried plum. Yeah, that should be interesting. Oh, that even, that's even covered in more cheese than last time. Look mm. at that. How high can I go? <laughs> we have to test it out here. Mm. Mm, this is amazing. We have so much food to eat. I really don't think we're going to be able to eat it all, but we're going to eat a lot of it. Wow, you're doing well for someone who didn't want anything. What? <laughs> Sorry, what? You're doing really well for someone who didn't want it. Another night here <sighs> on a couch in our cozy little cottage. It's the last night. Where did 10 nights go? Oh man. Guys, we had such lofty goals <laughs> of editing every single yeah, day. I know. We well we got distracted by the beautiful the beauty of Bariloche. And the breweries. And the breweries. And, and binge watching on Netflix. Ooh, okay. Of The Crown. Just one day, guys. Season three, we watched all one ten day. episodes in one day. This will be irrelevant by the time you're watching. Yeah. Anyways, what a meal. What an experience at the Zhao Zhao Hotel. It was a great day overall. It was a good day. I couldn't think of a better day to finish things off here. Yeah. And tomorrow we're going to El Boson, maybe our favorite place in uh, Patagonia so far. Mm -hmm. We hope you'll stay tuned for that. It should be a lot of fun, and um, yeah, what a great time in Bariloche. Definitely come here. I used to think this place maybe was a bit overrated. It's not. It's worth the hype, and um, okay. that's all I've got to say. That, that was Sam's opinion after like yeah. riding in a bus through like a back street of Bariloche. Well, there's way more to it yeah, and the nature and yeah. It's amazing. The, the, the more we've explored, the more we've appreciated it, yeah. and um, this won't be our last time here. But for now, this is the end of our time in Barloche. And, should, um, should we tell people how much dinner costs? Should we do some math? Is it too late to be oh, doing math? It was oh. just, we ordered a really fancy wine. Yeah. You did. You got carried away. I, you know what? I realize I've never really ordered an expensive bottle of wine. Every time we've ordered wine in restaurants, it's always yeah. been in countries where it's quite affordable. Yeah. And this is a fancy time. I think we spent almost 30 bucks on this on wine. On a bottle of wine. And then we spent, what, 30 or 40? 40 on our mains? 
How much it was, was the total? It was 4,000. 4, oh, How much was 5, that? 000. Okay. So 70, 75, 80 bucks for the okay. meal. Okay. Most expensive meal yeah. of the whole trip in a world famous hotel. But memorable. 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 And memorable. Um, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. What a day. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we will see you with more episodes from Elbow Soft.